This episode, we sail for the island of Viz, Croatia. After a cruisy week in Chibinec, we are excited to welcome Kelly's mum Tracy aboard for the next leg of our journey. But the weather proves a challenge, and we are met by strong winds as we make for the mainland early Monday. Fish? We, we just went past a school of tuna coming in. Did you, did you see them? I saw some fish, but I didn't know what. Yeah, they look like big, real fish that we've never Are you going to try to. They're going out. We might as well have something out there for them. After sailing all day, we're relieved to arrive and make our way in to explore the historic port city of Kamisha. What do you think about Kelly living on a sailboat? I guess it's okay, you just got to be careful. <laughs> Is Kelly in your prayers more now than before she lived on a boat, when she was living in a van? Well, there's a lot can go wrong in a van too. Okay, so she was already in your prayers. <laughs> she was already. I still think it's a boat. This morning we woke up in the small town of Camisa on the island of Vez, and we were going to go over to Bizavo to see the Blue Caves but the weather is a bit overcast, which is not ideal for the blue caves, and it's very, very windy. And then after that, we were gonna go see all the beaches, but instead we're gonna to have to change our plans and just travel back to the town of Viz and stay there, hunker down for a few days until the weather passes. We set sail for the town of Viz, the major hub of the island that has played such an essential role in the Adriatic for the past 1500 years.
With the wind still blowing, we head inland to discover what has made this island such an important Adriatic outpost for the Greeks, Romans, Dalmatians, Austro-Hungarians, Yugoslavians, and today the Croats that call Viz home. We see two of Croatia's three cricket teams playing a match in the abandoned airfield, find the caves where Tito hid for 90 days during World War II. Would have been an ordinary place to hang out for a while. Yeah, Tito, what were you doing here? Drive past countless monasteries, churches and the vineyards which have been so important for the economy here for hundreds and hundreds of years. And explore extensive underground tunnel systems used by the Yugoslavians in the Cold War. Well, it's a shame. You can see the place where the diesel and Germany are all situated. Now we are inside and now you can hear me much better, right? Because of sound isolation. You have a secret radio station, that room. We call it that, that room. Just be careful over there. Uh, you need to have a good isolation, you don't sound like you are in the tunnel, okay? Spiring because Tito never liked Italians, he never liked Germany. Like all good things in Croatia, our tour ends sampling the wine the region is famous for. Mom came to visit us this week and this is her first time on a sailboat overnight. So what do you think, Mom? Well, it was quite an experience, not used to the up and down of the motion of the water. Did you get sick? No, didn't get sick, but just, uh, I don't know, felt a little unbalanced. And would you do it again? That's the biggest question. <laughs> yes, I think I would do it again. I would do it again, but it is going to be a little while before I do it again. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Of being on the boat? Of being on the boat. Um, well, probably having my daughter and Eddie tend to my every need. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything but sit on my butt. <laughs> what did you think about whenever I told you that Eddie and I were going to Croatia and we were going to buy a boat and we had no sailing experience and we were going to learn how to sail? <laughs> my first reaction was, what have they got themselves into? <laughs> but then again, you know, she's adventurous and she plans things and she'll figure it out. And now that you've been on the boat, do you still think I was crazy? Uh, not crazy, but I feel like you probably have become a little bit more cautious in your decision making. Because shit happens. <laughs> <laughs>